Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations again. I thought I'd come on today because I wanted to work on a bow and um, I'm not going to do a swag or anything. I'm just going to make a bow for one of my lanterns in my family room for my spring decor. So I thought I'd get on and do the bow with you. And I'm going to add some floral to the bow itself. I'm not going to make a swag. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to get out and do a tiny, a tiny little bit of shopping sometime here new, in the near future. Because I have my lantern that, um, I, this is the one I'm going to have on my mantle in my family room. And I don't have anything to put in it springy wise. So I need to get out and do a little spring shopping because I don't really have a lot of spring decor. I mean, obviously I to pick up those signs and stuff like that. But anyways, I thought we'd get busy and I'd make a bow and I'm going to decorate it up a little bit and I'm going to use it. And um, this is the lantern that I use in my family room. I picked this up at Walmart. It's a Better Homes and Gardens. And um, anyway, so I was going to, I'm going to make a bow for this. I still have some moss in there from Easter, but I have to find some way, let me get this out of the shot, uh, something to put in it because I've kind of scoured my house and don't have anything to put in it. But anyways, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I uh, miss you every day when I'm not on, you know that. And I just wanted to uh, wish you a happy Friday. It's kind of hard to believe it's Friday the 13th. Goodness, this month is flying by. But anyways, I thought we could get started on this and uh, we will work on the bow. And then I've got my glue gun already started up. And then I've got, because I've, uh, I'm going to use kind of a yellowy theme in that room. And so I'm going to use some of the, you know, since I have some of these yellow daisies left over from my wreath that I did, the yellow and red uh, geranium wreath. I'm going to use some of these yellow daisies in the bow itself, you know, around around the bow and stuff like that. Uh, maybe even inside the lantern as well. Um, some of this is still be stuff and bring in a little white with these little flowers. So hopefully it'll look cute when I'm done with it and something that I can use, you know, for a few years on my lanterns for the spring decor. So anyways, let me bring down the camera and we'll get started on it. So hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you can see. So these are the ribbons I picked out. And you'll see why when I do do my spring decor tour. Um, anyways, I'm going to use some of this. You've seen it before. This with the uh, ferns on it. I'm going to use some yellow because I need to have yellow. So the only yellow I have available right now is this yellow chevron. But I think it'll look nice. And then I'm going to use some of this green polka dot. I love this green polka dot. And again, like yesterday, in the video that I lost, and of course I did one uh, live last night, um, I'm using, um, I'm going to make a 12 loop bow. And I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday, so if you don't want to watch this part, I understand. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and make a 12 loop bow and make that, and then we'll start adding all our stuff to it when I'm finished. So I thought we'd get started. I've already got it all chevroned and everything, so maybe this video won't be too long. I'm going to do my loops at six inches again because I think they need to be a little bit bigger. And I always twist the back one. And if you're new watching, welcome. So glad to have you. I'm just going to make a funky bow. And I am not the maker of this funky bow. Um, that was uh, designed by and made and... Um, by Julie Samako with Southern Charms Wreaths. She was the first one I saw that made this. Um, I Like um, Arlen, we both make this kind of bow and we kind of tweak it to our liking. And But she was the one that created it, so I want to give her props for that. So here I've got two so far. I think this is going to look cute together. These colors are really going to be pretty. And uh, anyways, I'm going to hope that I don't have the same thing that happened yesterday happen today because we are having a very windy, windy day. Uh, much more than we had. Uh... Oh, hold on a second. I forgot to flip my back on this one. I'm hoping it'll help us stay. Um, but anyways, yeah, we had a lot of wind yesterday, and I don't know if that's why our Internet went out. 
um, on me on the last video or not. So let me pull that in. I think I've got that. Hold on a second. <laughs> Seems like. Okay. It's already getting hard to hold these in my hand. Goodness. Let me check my number again here. Six inches. There. I think I've been making so many of these, my fingers hurt. That and the wreath. After a while, your fingers start hurting. Okay, we're gonna go back to the green boat or the green polka dot again. do this one where the bow goes down from center or from my fingers in the middle. I'm going to twist the back here. Yeah, I think this is going to work cute together, actually, these bows. I, mean, I think it'll look good with what I've got planned in there in my family room dec decorating wise. I think it'll look cute. So anyways, here we are. It's the weekend. We've got another Pacific, I guess it's a Pacific cold front coming in this time. So we're going to have storms again tonight. This always happens in the springtime. Some more storms and... Oh, like, gosh, the wind is so strong. It's crazy. You walk outside and your hair just blows all over the place. Anyway, so here it's coming together. I think it's going to look real cute, actually. I'm liking this together. I'm just gonna fluff that a little bit and we'll put our next one on. So I hope everybody is having a happy Friday. I wasn't really planning to go anywhere today because uh, I uh, have stuff to do around here. We are having a garage sale in our neighborhood so there's been quite a bit of few cars in here so I haven't tried to leave and go anywhere because I really don't need to go anywhere today, but I'll probably get out next week and try to find me some springy decor because, I, like I said, I really could use some because I don't have a lot particularly. Okay, now we're going to go back upwards because I think I finished out that bottom row. And, uh, anywho, and I think my daughter's going to spend a little time with her boyfriend this evening, and I think he has to work on Saturday. My son is staying at school because he's got too much work going on, like I told you yesterday. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so I'm planning on doing, like, a yellowy theme there in the family room for my spring decor, I think. Here in the great room, I've kind of got... Oh, a little bit of a white, and um, that one lantern shade that I made that I do have out on my Etsy page, I went ahead and uh, sat it on my lantern in there, so it's got pink flowers on it, so maybe a little bit of a pinky theme there, I'm not quite sure. It just depends, I gotta find, like I said, some more goodies for, I think, for spring, I don't have a whole lot, wait a minute, where am I? I gotta do this one. So, yeah, so a little shopping, not much. I did uh, place an order today because I thought of a new um, swag kind of thing I wanted to do with some sunflowers. So I wanted to get some more ribbon from Craft Outlets. So I ordered some more ribbon, and I ordered some pit berries and stuff from Factory Direct Craft. And so, anyways, I ordered that stuff today, and so it should be here next week sometime. Because I have a ton of sunflowers, so I thought I might go ahead and use them and make some cute um, lantern toppers. Um, that are more, you know, they're springy, but summery as well. Or just kind of, I don't know, maybe Tuscany looking? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, something, because I feel like sunflowers you can use year-round. 
I really feel like you could do that. And they, they are like my favorite flower ever. I just love them to death. And hopefully, we had a little conversation the other day. Maybe I'll uh, plant some this year. I don't know. But later on today, because we've got these storms coming in, I have to go outside and I'm going to move all my plants up to my porch so that they're um, going to be protected from the wind. And if we get a really hard rainstorm or something like that, I don't want them to get, you know, I mean, the stuff in the ground, I can't do anything about it. But uh, the stuff that's <clears throat> in... Um, in the pots and stuff like that in the hanging baskets. I don't want them to get ruined or bombarded with heavy rain if I can avoid it. Um, so I'll have to move those in. So I'll have to do that this afternoon before it gets late because I think those storms are going to actually come in overnight, I think. Is how that's going to work. So anyways, okay, so we got our bow all together. You know what? I don't have enough. I did the wrong thing here. Let me take these out. I'm just a talking. I need to flip these down. Because I didn't have enough loops down here. I've got six loops up here. I want six loops down here on the bottom, too. So, that my mistake. wasn't thinking. Hopefully I won't lose one like I did yesterday. I don't know how that happened. Okay, and here's the last one. This is hard to hold, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's going to be cute. I love, the, these, I love these polka dots and stuff. And I think just that little bit of yellow is going to be what exactly what I was wanting. Okay, I had a pipe heater cleaner. I set it out. Well, I don't know where it went. When I was getting ready, I set it out. I'll find it here somewhere, but I've got another one. Green. Kind of limey green. So, let's put this between my fingers. Let's not lose one this time. Try to get it where it's kind of even. And I'm going to pull, pull, pull as tight as I can. Ugh. And hopefully this is going to turn out adorable. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of ribbon here. <laughs> so I got to fluff all my loops. Get them all fluffed up. Turn it around. Seems a little bit short. Okay. Pull this up. Now I'm going to hold this from the bottom and see. ribbons up. How did that one get so big? Sometimes that happens, you know, you're loops. This one's over here, I think. Let me see, that one looks a little taller than the rest. I think that's it, or is that the one I'm pulling on? No, I think that's it. There. Okay. Okay. 
was a little wonky there looking to me. with our tails a little. I just feel like we have to get it fluffed real nice. You can fast forward through this, obviously. <laughs> okay. looking cute. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to look good. Hopefully I have all the... There, it's looking really cute. I like it. Okay, let me make a, uh, I, the other day, I, you know, I found that ribbon I was looking for. It's the striped stuff. I don't use it very often, so I've been using it for my, um, something to tie onto my lantern. And I just want to make sure I have enough. So I don't know how much I need. Probably, probably about 33 inches to make sure that it will go along the lantern. Make sure it's long enough, you know. So, let's see. A little crease in it. I want to make sure it's even. And then I'm going to stick it in the pipe cleaner here in the back. I'm not going to open it up all the way. I'm just going to stick this in so that we can tie it on the lantern and then we can start decorating the bow. There. Okay, let me pull out the lantern. I'm gonna, now this one, I have to tie on here kind of strangely because it has, I mean, I mean you can tie it around there. I don't know how we're gonna do it, we'll see. Let me see, I'm gonna, it's gonna be cute on here, I think though, with it being kind of rusticy looking, the lantern itself. Yeah, so I'm just going to tie it around this top part. Because all lanterns are different, and obviously you should look on, look for one when you're wanting to do bow toppers. It has a good way of attaching um, your bow on. Turn it around. And I'm just going to tie it in a bow back here. Now, it will come off probably easily if I just pulled on it. So, um, all right. Let's take a look at this. So now what I want to do is add some florals and stuff to the bow itself. I 
and attach it to the ribbon. And I'll be able to use this every year until I get tired of it. But I'm just going to, let me move this ribbon out of the way. I'm going to, uh, let me raise you up just a hair. There, now you can see the bow. And what I'm gonna do, like here, I think there, there was a couple, I wanna say there was a couple loose ones in that box over there. Um, let me get this tag off here. These were $5.99 at the at-home store, the whole bunch. But I think adding some daisies here and there is gonna be cute. Let me get my And this is the front front of it. This is the back over on this side. So I'm looking at the front. But what I'm going to do is um, just start adding some flowers in here. And I think it'll look cute when it's done. I think that's the plan. So I don't need them to be real big. But I can start kind of just placing them, sort of, to get an idea how I want it to look. That may be a little too long, I'm not quite sure. Or if I want to get some that pop out of the top. So I always just play with it. I have some coming up. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe some some things coming out the side here. Let me see how that looks. So I have to stick it in the bow itself. All right, I'm just working through this in my head. <laughs> and we'll see how it works. All right, I think this is going to be too long because I don't want them just, I just need to cut a little bit of off of it, I think, and then a little work. Let's put some glue on this and get started. The whole idea is I want the flowers like peeking out of the bow, you know. There. So there's some in there now. Start with my daisies, and I'm going to add in some other stuff as I go. Whoops, I don't need scissors on this particular job. So what I do on that side, I'm going to do on this side, kind of mimic what I have on the other side. I guess make it symmetrical? I don't know what you'd call that. Let's see, I'm trying to get that in there. bending on me for some strange reason. Alright, I'm gonna use some of this this stuff. I got into the glue there. That looks better. Okay, that looks cute right there on this side right here. I like that. Instead of putting it on the top, I went through the bottom. So we'll do that again over here. This one's kind of long. We have another shorter one here. I don't know if that'll push up. It might. Uh, yep, this little. 
other white with a little bit of white on it. There, that's good. I'm gonna put some more on this side. I kind of like it coming out, I think, of the top on this side. We'll try that, see how it goes. I can get this stuff to stay for me. And that's the only problem. When you're working with bows, you, you know, I really, it would be nice if probably if I had some foam or, you know, moss or foam or something I could stick it in. But I think it's going to hold for me, hopefully. Hopefully, once it gets set, I think it'll stay. So, there's how it's looking so far. Let's see. In that side, I get this to stand up a little bit more. Actually, that's not holding. I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna put it down below. So I think it'll look better. Let's see what I got going on here. Put some more glue on this. Yeah, I didn't like it up there at the top. It looks better coming down below the flowers. Gotta let my glue dry a little bit before I continue. Hopefully it's gonna hold there. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I didn't want a whole, I didn't want to do a swag particularly, so this is more like, I, would get, I guess you'd call it a, a bow topper or something. Let's try to use some of this stuff because it's got a little bit of white in it. Ooh. Oh, see, that's not staying. What was the deal here? Hopefully that's going to stay. It wasn't acting like it was staying too very good. So, we will see. Okay. The other side's working fine. I think this is going to do too, eventually. Okay, I want to get some white in there. Or something. Use some of this stuff. But I think I'll put some more daisies in. Up and around. I think... See, that doesn't have them all on. And I'm going to make these a little longer so that they kind of poke out up here. Let's see. I'm going to have to stand up while I work on this and see what I'm trying to accomplish here. I just want to see because I'm not gluing on the... Gluing into the bow, not onto the lantern itself. Okay, stay there. I have to hold it for a second. Gonna stay. I'm gonna get another one. This one actually has a leaf on it. That's gonna be too long. Bye bye, leaf. I actually could stick a leaf in there, I guess, if I wanted to. I think this just comes off of here. Yeah. This is just a hair too long. So I'm gonna put this up in the top, right up here. 
And then on this side, make sure it holds. You know, that glue is so hot that it takes a while to cool down where it uh, holds. It's looking cute. Okay. I think we might just want one out here towards the back, too. Not that anybody's going to see that part. Looks like one of my flowers is missing off this one. I don't know. not. We'll see. Give me some more of this stuff. Where's my things? Let me push that up as much as I can. It's all on separate things. There. there I think I think this is looking cute of course the the bow is always the star of the show you know the bow always looks the best I want this to stand up if we can get it to stand up it'll be great okay hang on to it for a second Sure, it still looks like a bow here. I want my loops. Oh, yes, this is looking cute. All right, can you see that? What I've done here so far. And then I think I'm going to bring something out on this side. So another, where did I do that? I think this is missing a, let me just cut that off so you don't see it. I think it's actually missing a little flower. But I'm gonna come out this way a little bit with some daisy, I think. Cause I don't really, it's like here, but there wasn't none on this side. And I think that's a little, this is going to work. We will see how it looks. If I, that's going to look like I want it to. There, that's, that's looking good. Okay, I haven't used any of this in here yet. I don't know that I want to, actually. Let's see. I just have this one that looks like I've pulled several off of it. <laughs> like that. I don't know that I'm going to use this stuff. I think I'm going to use some more of this. So I like the way this is kind of a good filler. And it looks nice. That'll look good. I think that actually got into some glue. That glue must not be completely dry in there yet. I already burned myself earlier today. Yeah, that looks good. I 
think I'm going to put a few more daisies right in there. In this other spot. Am I boring you to death? I'm kind of, you know, as I think, I don't talk too much. I hope y'all are having a great day. My allergies are really starting to bother me. I don't know about y'all. The spring weather. cute. I haven't done two. I mean, I've got, I feel like I need a bigger flower right here in the middle or something. And all I got are those flowers that I bought for, to put on my, um, looks like one of these fell off. Cut it off. What did I cut these off on? I use these on something. I don't know if this work or not. You now they don't look alike, so that one's not gonna work. Okay, I think one little more daisy and we'll be good, maybe. And I'll show you what it looks like. So I think I feel like we need something right through here, right in the right kind of coming out the top like that yeah okay I'm gonna hold that for a second make sure it gets dry It'll stay still This might be good. Move this stuff out of the way. There. I like that. Do you like it? I think it looks cute. So I just like added flowers everywhere. I think it came out cute. And then somehow I'm gonna decorate the inside of this, but like I said, I think I'm gonna have to go shopping because I don't have anything to put in here. I really in the past have not thought about, you know, oh, what do I need to put in my lanterns? But I definitely need to put something in the lantern, so. Anyways, but I thought the top came out really cute. I've got, you know, the flowers kind of all the way around, not right here in the back, but they kind of, where you can see it, everywhere around the bow. So I think it looks good. So yeah, I would call this probably a bow topper. And this is the first part of the bows I'm gonna be making for my lanterns. Um, I, like I said, I already have, I've got to make one for my front porch still. And then I've got a bigger lantern in my family room that I'd like to make one for that. And it'll have to be a bigger bow. Um, I, and, and staying in the same color theme because they're both um, in my family room. But right now, my uh, one that's in my great room, like I said, I have that one that I made that I put on Etsy that, with the pink flowers. So I just got it sitting there on the lantern. I figured, you know, since until it sells, I might as well use it, right? And so I've done that. But anyways, I hope you like this, and I hope you like how it came out. And hopefully I'll be bringing you another um, tutorial on another lantern, and I'm do, gonna do that one a little bit different probably but it's still gonna have to stay in the yellow theme so we will see what I come up with with for that but this is what I made and this is gonna stay on this lantern for my spring decor so I hope you enjoyed this and have a great weekend everybody I love you hugs and kisses and everybody take care and I'll talk to you soon bye bye bye